literature and with anybody that is that deals with you know consulting or brand management in any way knows about this sort of this story about Colgate in the 1980 early 80s they um they launched a line of frozen dinners like family gourmet uh, like tv <laughs> what, what we used to call tv dinners TV, yeah, frozen TV, dinners. in the 80s that's what they yeah tv dinners yeah and um so uh of course this is a failed brand extension because people you know it doesn't you don't have to be a brand manager or especially bright to realize that people are going to associate anything you put the Colgate logo type on to like <laughs> dental, like toothpaste, you know, <laughs> like dental floss, uh, not, not good food. Anyway, so <clears throat> this is the only product in the museum that I don't have the original um, product or packaging. Okay. So my intern, so this is where it gets interesting. So, okay. Uh, so my intern, she, uh, she made like an, uh, a reconstruction of the Colgate frozen dinners this is everywhere in the literature so do, so do you mean not, of the do you mean of the <laughs> food itself or the box or both the box no 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 we don't know we don't we don't have the original yeah we don't know we don't even know if it was lasagna right oh yeah because we, we of course we you can't store shit that long <laughs> <laughs> you you didn't you mean you didn't taste it doctor yeah. mm. I, I, i've tasted some other of this stuff in the museum um so so she creates this reconstruction uh it's part of the museum uh everything's good then it starts get the museum starts getting some media attention and uh the lawyers from colgate call, gave me a call and they were not oh this is great this. yeah, yeah what, like, so what do they what do they say to you uh doctor <laughs> First, I thought it was another media request. So I was all happy, you know, like, yeah. I'm Great, and talk PR. To yeah, come on, New York, talk to me. Uh, and then he's, he was not happy. And he said that uh, we're, I'm calling from the Colgate Corporation. And, quote, um, uh, neither I or anyone else at Colgate has any memory of a Colgate frozen lasagna. Wow. So they denied they ever did. This is just like you yeah. do something stupid and then you just pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> pretend it didn't happen. I'm, oh, and then that's I, great. I, I had to tell him, listen to the lasagna. It's everywhere. It's a reconstruction. If you notice the spelling of lasagna, it's spelled the Swedish lasagna. It's not even, it's not even uh, spelled right, you know? Right. Um, and he's like, I'm like, if you, if you can prove to me that this never happened, that this is all an urban legend, if you if you can if you if you can just argue that case, I will be happy to remove this from the museum. I haven't heard from them since. 